Hey traders, this is T Bradley 90 from the My Investing Club chat. As a special gift to every viewer on YouTube, there is a link in the description to apply for a free breakthrough trading strategy session with myself. What does that mean? Alex created a free trading course for beginners and at the end of it, we will be selecting a few non-members to get on the phone with myself, Tosh, T Bradley 90 to help with your trading. Click the link in the bio, watch the video and apply today. Now, while today is just a preview of the full length video, if you want to watch the full length or any of our exclusive content, then become a member of MIC. Hey, everybody. Austin here. Uh, back for another trade recap. <clears throat> this time it's on OSN. But before I do, I want to say I'm not licensed or registered. I'm not a financial advisor. And none of this should be taken as investment advice, even if it sounds like it. All right. So OSN was kind of the mover of today. And it was a it was a it was a really good trade um, that I had on it today. Um, I'm doing this I'm doing this um, this recap late or later in the day, so I don't have the arrows here. But I I screenshotted the chart right before I left. But anyway, yeah. So coming into today, OSN I think it was just on earnings news. OSN had earnings and it was gapping up like 70 80 percent we're in a hot market and this is kind of what we have and this is what we have to work with right this is what i'm seeing this is what i'm seeing on the chart um this is what i got you know <clears throat> as i approach all trades my first thing that i do is i look at the daily chart and what i'm looking for is <clears throat> excuse me what i'm looking for is pronounced levels um defined levels whole and half dollars that have been respected high volume candles, wicks. I'm looking for support and resistance lines. And I was done with it for the whole day. I missed the short opportunity, but um, I should have because, you know, I was being conservative on the sell for this reason, but like I, I, I didn't pull the, the short trigger. Um, so basically what, um, the reason why I enter, and I always say this in my webinars, right? I say like the exit needs to determine the entry of the stock, meaning, the reason, like, a lot of people are like, where do I get in, where do I get in? They focus so much on the entry, and the entry is important, but what should help you determine the entry is knowing how and why and when you're going to exit, right? Because the exit is going to tell you if your entry makes sense. The reason why, I, like, I'm buying into a washout because I'm expecting to sell into a pullback, and that's why you'll see. I sold half of my position before VWAP, right? Because I'm not expecting this. Um, like the, 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 the goal, the vision, the thesis of this trade is to, this is what I call a front side buy, right? A front side buy. I'm buying into the strength, right? Which means just like shorting into a parabolic on a short, I want to be front side covering that, right? I want to be covering on a dip on that kind of trade, right? Because I don't want to short the top and expect it to be the top all day. When the stocks on front side, they make new highs all the time. Well, when the stocks tanking in the morning, they can make new lows all the time very easily. So, you know, I don't want to risk, you know, the gain up here and have it come back down, right? So I'm selling half my position before VWAP, right? Now, what gives me a little bit of conviction um, to hold the rest for a spike up to this 650 level is the fact that it was a big jump and that to me got me like, all right, I think I can get, I, I think I can get a bigger trade out of this. This was a nice trap. We're in a hot market, all of this stuff really um and the fact that i nailed it on the button really made me feel that i was right with this support line it looks kind of like a perfect little trap there so at this point we are under the death line i feel like more longs are entering here than exiting it's now see and contrast that with over here once the stock has run and pushed and chased chasers were involved this is kind of when we break here again this is much more like what a death line looks like when you know there are a lot of longs. Look at all this volume. There's a lot of longs underwater here as opposed to the first five minute of the day pre-market low death line where it's like you are you can't be sure how many people are actually currently long in the stock. But over here, you have a very, you know, it's way more reasonable to assume that there's a lot of longs in here now. And this is where everybody's now completely underwater and there's probably a lot of them. 
Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.